Here was, uh, you know, because it's virtual, there's they get to do their favorite thing, and that's repeat a word over and over and over again. It's <laughs> agonizing. But uh, here was the big open of last night's extravaganza. Welcome. 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 To the second, second night of the Democratic, Democratic National oh, Convention. Oh, no. This is a different kind of convention. Oh. Look at the camera and smile. And this. And this is a different smile. kind of keynote. Is a different kind of keynote. This, this year, all of us are on the stage. stage. Wait, is this a different kind of keynote or is it the same one? Is it the same kind of thing we're always doing? Yeah. No. Or is it a different kind? A different kind. A different kind. Yeah. Yeah. A lot to say. Oh. Make no mistake. <laughs> it didn't have to be this bad. What didn't? In the early days of the virus, oh, Donald geez. Trump didn't listen to the experts. Really? And then he said something that a president should never say. The experts like Nancy Pelosi who was telling everybody to come down to Chinatown or whatever part of San Francisco she wanted them to frequent to spend their money. Uh, that, that kind of advice mm. where everybody was saying, hey, it's business as usual. There's nothing wrong here. Nothing to see. Move it along. This is a Chinese situation. We don't have to worry about it, including St. Fauci of DCC saying the exact same thing. <laughs> I, he said, uh, I don't take responsibility at all. No huh. responsibility. No leadership. No, no, no responsibility. He still doesn't have a plan. Can you believe this? People accusing Donald Trump of not taking responsibility when their hero, their idol, uh, practically their god, Barack Obama, not once took responsibility for anything. Not in the entire eight years. Everything bad that happened was George W. Bush's fault. They're just cleaning up that mess. Not once did that man be a stand-up guy and say, yeah, I screwed up. Yeah, including Not the once. pandemics. He was supposed to restock the mask. Right. Remember, he had the local business here in Texas ready to go with a government contract, and the Obama administration was like, nah, we don't need masks. The guy could be caught red-handed and was on Fast and Furious. Whose problem was that? He blamed it on George W. Bush. Ah, uh, that was started by the previous administration. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it absolutely wasn't, you lying sack. Not once did he ever take responsibility, and that's a that was a big theme last night, that Donald Trump doesn't take responsibility for his actions. Donald Trump just doesn't oh. understand. We can't fix our economy until we get a hold of the virus. Mm. Okay. We can't fix the economy. Until we get hold, that doesn't matter when it happens. Could happen in 2025. Okay, now we finally got hold of the virus. Let's do something about. Wait, what? Everybody's dead from the from the economic disaster that resulted, huh? Oh well. I mean, we couldn't get a hold of it until we got a hold of the virus. Jeez. Here's some of what uh, Bill Clinton had to say <laughs> last night at the DNC. Donald Trump says we're leading the world. Well, we are the only major industrial economy to have its unemployment rate tripled. (laughs) At a time like this, the Oval Office should be a command center. Instead, it's a storm center. Oh, wait. (laughs) It's only chaos. Just one thing never changes. Well, sad. His determination to deny responsibility and shift the blame. There we go. The the buck never stops there. Yeah. Now you have to decide. Okay. Whether to renew his contract or hire someone else. Yeah, I'm going to renew his contract. If you want contract. a president who defines the job as spending hours a day watching TV yeah. and zapping people on social media. Okay. Oh, social media. Means it's too much. It's just too much. Mm-hmm. Stop the madness. This guy talking about how the Oval <laughs> Office should be used. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> That's very... Uh... Again, on the very day where that photograph right. was released with him and that 22-year-old girl. Uh, rubbing his shoulders, making googly eyes. They're holding each other. They've got their arms around each other in one of the shots. Uh, but no, he doesn't know anything about that. Uh, I don't know. I, I took a few trips to Africa. Mm-hmm. Uh, with a, but uh, but never stopped along the way for any kind of pleasure like that. Okay. <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's, it, they're such terrible liars now because the evidence is just right in front of our face and they continue to lie they tell you what you're what you're seeing you're not really seeing so well he only got five minutes last night huh yeah i mean they're keeping them all pretty short but i don't think they like him anymore no i i think they're pretty done with him and it was probably he'd already gotten the invite and now we've got this new evidence and they're like well we're kind of stuck now just put him in there yeah democrats don't care anyway put put him in there i'm reading vox's uh winners and losers from last night and bill clinton 
loser. Defin- definitely a loser. And it's because of, you know, the appearance with the Me Too stuff going on. I bet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Another loser? Uh, that, uh, this is from CNN, though. Uh, do, does Vox have Chuck Schumer as a loser, too? I don't see Chucky on this I list. could just imagine the ever-media-aware Senate Majority Leader uh, setting up the shot. Except he's not majority leader. He's minority leader. Um, st- yeah. Statue of Liberty in the background for his speech. Except that the statue was so blurry that you could barely recognize it. Oh, we got to find a picture of this. I love that the planned symbolism of the shot was ruined by the need for a wider aperture to light it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Uh, plus, he, his babbling was just idiocy as well. Just sheer unadulterated stupidity here's a a little bit uh from chucky democrats must take back the senate we will stay united Mm -hmm. from sanders and warren to mansion and warner and with our unity we will bring bold and dramatic change to our country let me tell you some of the things we do tell me with president biden vice president harris in a democratic majority we will make health care affordable <laughs> for all. Ah! Wait a minute. Um, so what happened to Obamacare? Wasn't that the Democrat president and the majority in both houses making health care affordable for all? We did that 10 years ago, Democrats. So now you're just admitting that Obamacare sucks. <laughs> Obamacare failed. Uh, it's a total and complete failure, and now you're trying to shop the same line of bullcrap to the American people. That is, uh, that's unbelievable. Seriously. Wait, wait a minute, you already took care of health care. We have the greatest health care now in the world with Obamacare. What do you mean you're going to do affordable health care for all? Is there a government fix that mm. doesn't serve as an excuse for a future government fix? Uh, not that I know of. Seriously. <laughs> With no self-awareness whatsoever. He doesn't even blink when he says it. Uh, Do you have to be reminded about what you did in 2009? Uh, Wow. Because that was a big deal that we tried to stop and told you it wasn't going to help. And it hasn't. And now you're doing it again. And we're just supposed to roll over and play dead and say, Oh, okay, this time. At this time, don't get it. We're not all Jeffy here. Okay? (laughs) Wait, wait. (laughs) <laughs> uh, 18 thank you chucky schubert 18 milk <laughs> well, that's so are, stupid you have to be already in the building <laughs> it may go home uh, yeah come that, on that was my breaking point i had to turn it off for a while and mm. then come back to it later because i just could i it just blood shot from my eyes okay well there's plenty of hockey on right now if you'd like to mm-hmm. it's not too late to start watching that I'm almost desperate enough. Mm. Almost. Uh, Not quite, though.